सो दिस वीडियो इज ऑल अबाउट द एनेटमी ऑफ एच आर सी टी टेम्पोरल बोन सो लेट स्टार्ट आवर वीडियो विद बो वी नीड टू व्यूज फर्स्ट वी नीड एक्जल व्यू एंड सेकेंडली वी नीड कॉरोनल व्यू सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल लुक एट द थिंग्स दैट वी कैन इजीली सीन इन द एक्जल व्यू ओके फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल स्टार्ट विद द एक्सटर्नल ईयर हेयर वी कैन सी द एक्सटर्नल ईयर इज बेटर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल ए फोकस ऑन द वन साइड राइट साइड ओके आई एम मूविंग द ए पिक्चर सो दैट आई कैन फोकस ऑन वन साइड ओके नो वी विल फोकस ऑन द राइट साइड ऑफ दिस पेशेंट ओके हेयर यू नो आई विल जूम इट फॉर यू ओके नो वी विल स्टार्ट आवर वीडियो विद द एक्सटर्नल ईयर हेयर यू कैन सी द एक्सटर्नल ईयर ओके The patient has wear some <coughs> ornaments in her external ear. And patient age will be seen at this patient age. This is the patient age as Ajra, and above that age is written. Okay, the external ear, and here from external ear we will start looking inward. Here you here you can see that you are going inward to the external auditory canal. We are we can see the presence of external ear is shape. Its prominence, any mass, any deformity, no deformity, no mass present, no focus on the external artery canal as indicated by my my arrow of the mouse. Yes, 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 yes. You can see the external artery canal. Okay, we are going downwards, downwards, and here you can see the external artery canal and the structures of the middle and internal ear are have started to appear. We are going towards the middle ear. Okay, middle ear consists of soft tympanic membrane. When tympanic membrane will start appear, we will see that we are in the middle ear. Now we will locate the middle ear, and then we can see that we are inside the middle ear. Here you can see the tympanic membrane. The tympanic membrane has, is clear and will rise very well. No opacification or any other thing can be seen in the tympanic membrane, and After the tympanic membrane, we can see the internal ear and the internal ear structures. Okay, here you can see the internal ear, internal ear and whole the apparatus. Okay, so the first bone to look for is is the scutum. So how to locate the scutum? So we will open the anatomy in coronal view, and in the coronal view, we first a locate the a ear ossicles and the ear ossicles. We will look for the Incus, alias, and uh, stapes. The three ear ossicles. So this is the head of alias, and the, when we see the head of alias, the first bone with this sharp end is the scutum, as I have indicated with my arrow head. You can see this is the head of alias, and this is the scutum. You can see the sharp end. If there is any obscuration of the sharpness or uh, this is not well we can see that there is a degeneration or an uh, involvement of scutum the cholestia to 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 mar cholesterol cholestatoma so there is a space that is present between the scutum and the head of malleus a very important space that gives rise to the formation of inner ear cholestia toma that is prusak space Prusak space is present between the head of the malleus. This is the head, and this is the scutum. So this structure is the prusak space. This structure, as shown by my arrow, is the prusak space. Okay, scutum, malleus, and this is the prusak space. Okay, I think I have cleared it for you. So we will divide the. We will basically divide it into three parts. Okay, the. Middle ear will be divided into three parts: the epitympanum, the hypotympanum, and the mesotympanum. Epitympanum, hypotympanum, and the mesotympanum. So <clears throat> we can a uh, draw an arbitrarily line a uh, from this. Okay, from this. Okay, from this to that. I will make that line for you. so here i have drawn this line okay the structure above this line is epitympanum 
and the structure below are meso and hypotypanum now we will again draw another line it's here this hole is meso tympanum and this is hypotympanum that approaches towards the eustachian tube okay epitympanum meso tympanum and hypotypanum i hope i have made things clear for you now the other things will be evaluated in the in the axial view okay so now we will axial view for locating the inner ear we will first locate the basal turn of the cochlea here you can see the basal turn of the cochlea very well i will locate that for you here here too you can see the basal turn of the cochlea and <coughs> this is the vestibule and the vestibule then this magnet ring structure this that open into the vestibule is the lateral semicircular canal this is you can see the ring appearance of lateral semi uh, semicircular canal malleus and the malleus below malleus is incis and uh, lateral semicircular canal vestibule vestibule and this is the so cochlea this is modulus of the cochlea this structure the modulus of cochlea this structure i will see modulus of the cochlea okay and this is the inner auditory canal you can see that so lateral semicircular canal this is the vestibule and above the vestibule this structure is the oval window what is this structure oval window vestibule lateral seminal canal and this is oval window so you will tell me which bony structure is attached to the oval window we have learned in our ent that the foot plate of stapes is attached to this oval window i will make the view clear for you here you can see this is the foot plate of stapes and that is attached to the oval window vestibule lateral semicircular canal this is the posterior semi uh, semi canal that canal that is coming this is the posterior okay 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 and now we will go with the we will locate other structures such as round window and the round window nick so we are locating the round window okay uh, here 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 is the round window for you i will scroll up up and axial view, axial view, axial view. Round window and above the round window, we will we can see the other structures in that view. So we will. take time and we will uh, so here we go so you can see this is the round window and this is the uh, prominence of the bone in which round window is present round window and this is round window nick most likely nick uh, we say the nick above the round window uh, we can see the facial nerve uh, but in this view there we cannot see it much clearly now we will come to the coronal view scrotum head of malleus incus this is the prominence of the of the cochlea this is sinus tympanum sinus tympanum this is prominence of the cochlea and above the prominence of the inner ear or cochlea we can see that above is the round window and above round window we can see the facial canal okay 
this is the superior semi superior semi circular canal this is the this is the lateral semi circular canal and the both these semi circular canals combine to form ear vestibule as seen that this is the ear vestibule okay and here you can see the posterior semi circular canal this is the posterior semi circular canal that comes and opens into the ear vestibule okay and if we come downward we can see there these two arrow heads one is the anterior end of the superior semi circular canal this is the posterior end of superior semi circular canal here they unite with the posterior semi circular canal to form a crust that opens into the ear vestibule as seen in this picture okay now i think the most structures are very well uh, explained in this video so now come with the abnormality you can see the opacity complete opacification of the mastoid ear cells of the both sides so this is a case of mastoiditis now we will look at the medial ear either that is opacified or not um, i don't think that there is a very marked opacification of middle ear so this is a case of mastoiditis